Welcome to the ride. So you prefer a sweaty gym, huh? I've got just the floor for you. Remember to towel off when you're finished. Okay? Now. How many people will be playing? One. And one. Thank you. And you. Is this the first ride for... That's what I thought. I'm so glad to see you back. I really am. Go ahead, player one. Thank you. Player two, please enter your name now. Good, thank you. Please notice the keys you will be using as buzzers. Okay, let's have a nice clean game in there. And remember, no horsing around in the shower. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Gymnasium Ad Nauseum. Pump it up till you you get up. And now, here's your host, Cookie. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you make time to go to the gym, even if it doesn't show. Okay, gang, here's your screws. Remember, screwing is a mean thing to do, so you gotta commit to it. Once you hit that S key, don't stop and don't look back. Okay, slip into your gym shorts and let's play. All right, player two, buzz in, give us a value. I like to call this category your flunking gym, Mr. President. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. If the requirements for the Presidential Fitness Award and Presidency of the United States were the same, which of your classmates would be eligible for the award? Player two, it's you. Now, the only thing politicians need to do fast is get out of the country when their personal lives are revealed. Player one, you can take it. All yours, player one. Gotta be over 35 to be president? You betcha. So don't worry, still being in elementary school when you're 50 won't hurt your chances of being elected to the presidency. Okay, player one, pick a winner. Okay, give it up for... Scoring in gym class, if you know what I mean. Okay, take a look at this analogy and get ready to choose the best answer. Condom is to IUD as flex arm hang is to pull up. Take it. Player one, you're screwed. What's the answer? So you pick three, huh? Okay. That's right. Rugby's for dicks and soccer's for well, you 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 get the idea. Player two, it's yours if you want it. All right, let's take a look at the right answer. In gymnastics, parallel bars are for males and the uneven bars are for females. And let me tell you, birth control is just as hard to maneuver when you've got a crowd watching and international judges scoring your performance. Okay, player two, grab a question value. Buzz in. I think we can work with that, and here's your category. Pain in the class. You ready? Let's go. If your high school had taken the term intramurals literally, which of these sports could you have played? Foosball, volleyball, softball, or hacky sack? Player two, grab it! It's squishy. <laughs> Player one, what do you say? <laughs> Player one. Translated literally, intramural means foos. <laughs> Come on, idiot. <laughs> Here's the one you wanted. Intramural means within the wall, so you be playing volleyball until the walls start closing in and the air begins to run out. Must stop talking, stop stealing my air! Ah! Okay, player two, 
what's this one going to be worth? Excuse me, I think you just stepped in roadkill. Okay, be the first to smack your buzzer when you see the item that correctly connects the two things on the screen. And don't forget, bonus cash for the bonus puzzle at the end. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. Thumb plus fingers plus palm equals, and Spicoli's teacher, Mr. Blank. What's the common link between these two? Score. 12 inches, and you hop on one. and bathroom cleaner blank scrub. Makers of Dark Neon and Viper and Wyatt Earth City. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all wrestling maneuvers? Major League Soccer teams? Nike shoe styles? Parts of the body? Items on a playground? Games with ball in their names? Nike shoe styles? Items on a playground? Oh, you're terrible! I guess you getting picked last all the time. You probably never got to play these games. Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. Player one, coming up. Big words are funny. Okay, hope you paid attention in English class, because it's time for a thesaurus question. I'm going to show you a phrase, and when you figure out what it's a synonym for, buzz in. If you don't know what a synonym is, well then, you know, just guess like you would normally. Hamper Sphere Snare. Okay, what's this a synonym for? Basketball net, football helmet, tennis shoe, or jock strap? Take a shot, please. It's good. Well, aren't you literate? When I first saw it, I thought it was a fancy term for wedgie. Player two, hit me! This one's called... What will my bra train me to do? Oh, God, do you remember getting undressed in the school's locker room for the first time? It was so embarrassing trying to keep your breasts covered. I bet the girls had a rough time, too. Suppose you flash a breast while changing in the locker room. What's hanging out? Bolivia, Thailand, France, or Romania? What are you... Oh, you gotta answer it. Number four, let's see. This'll just be our little secret. Well, you want it, cheers if you want it. Alright, keep your shirt on. Brest is a port city in northwest France that was first discovered with the onset of puberty. Player two, pick us a question value. Cool are fun and wimps were what we called them. W I M P S W I M P S W I M P S. Admit it, you were one. Oh. Well, 
Welcome to Wimps. Remember to hit your buzzer when the letter you're looking for lights up. If you collect all five letters first, the bonus is yours. Here we go. The Nutty Blank. Way to go, Professor. Not mature. You're all grown up. SNL's Doug and Wendy. Back to the future family. Hello, McFly. Pop goes the blank. Weasel. Want that bonus player one? Get one more letter. Saved by the bell win. Let's kill him! Keep out. Wimps! Player one, you got the bonus! No player one's in the lead. Alright, let's see how long this lasts. Player two, what's this one gonna be? Do a lot worse than that. Let's check out your category. Forming locker room alliances. Remember playing capture the flag in gym class? I'm so happy for you. Anyway, say you want to capture a flag that has the same colors as America's old glory. Which of these countries' flags should you not snag? Thailand, France, Greece, or Chile? Player two, it's yours. Thailand is red, white, and blue stripes. And remember, never wear a striped Thailand with a checked blazer. With your Bangkok showing. Oh boy, that joke, it, it never gets old. <laughs> Player one, you can take it. All yours, play. Opa! Greece's flag is blue and white, and if you try to steal it, you get kicked in the Acropolis. Player one, hit your buzzer and select a value for the next question. We're calling this one. Dodgeball can be so cruel. Wasn't gym class fun? Especially when it came to picking teams. Well, remember that, Sporto, as you figure out this analogy. Picked first in gym classes to alpha, as picked last in gym classes to what? Pi, omega, beta, or gamma? Player two, grab... Alpha is the first letter in the Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last. First, last, middle, what's the difference when your underwear is yanked up over your head, all the games are the same? Alright, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Corf to Brockle, Flemish Corn Turd. Wait a minute, is this a, uh... Okay, okay, I got it. Now then, here's what your real category looks like. Being smart ain't cool. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more cash you can pick up. Okay then, tell me what this rhymes with. Him say, be dumb. Oh, and don't not ignore that punctuation there. First clue, it's a place. Iowa? It's a place to exercise or play indoor sports. Oh, Delaware. Player two, it's in your court. Did you know the word gymnasium comes from the Greek words meaning to exercise naked? Yeah, at least that way my underwear wouldn't have gotten yanked up over my head. Okay, player two, grab a question value. Buzz in. Here's your category. Drop that bacon, punk! Okay, hang tight. We're talking about $3,149 here. Here we go. From which of these dishes could you not steal the bacon? A Denver omelet, a club sandwich, a BLT, or quiche Lorraine? Player two, it's yours. Uh, what do you think the B stands for? Butt steak? Player one. Quiche Lorraine traditionally contains Swiss cheese and bacon, but real men don't steal quiche. <laughs> A Denver omelet has ham, not bacon. 
And be sure to run a few wind sprints right after eating so you can look at the omelet again. Okay, player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Your category is... Alley. Oops! Did you know that the guy who invented basketball, James Naismith, was a phys ed instructor? Well, he was. Considering the type of baskets James Naismith used to invent basketball, what might you expect to see his phys ed students doing? Bouncing peaches off their feet, getting hit in the nose by Easter eggs, having picnics on the sidelines, or shooting... Take a shot! He used peach baskets. Now why Shaq shoots bricks, only he knows. Player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Hit your buzzer and tell us. All right, I hope you're warmed up. Here's your clue. I hate Jim. Don't worry, after this you can hit the showers. All right, good luck. You had the bull by the horns entering the jack attack. But it looks like you got gored somewhere along the way. I thought about how hard it must have been for him to walk across the gym and ask me to dance. But when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? So I said no, and set fire to the gym. Hey folks, Crazy Ernie here, inviting you to come on down to Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. It's my third anniversary blowout. That's right, I've got insane deals on wall-to-wall, -wall, large cap, small cap, shag, bond, stain master, and concentrated healthcare. I must be out of my mind. I got active managed, I got no load. I got free installation. What must I be thinking? You want diversified international? I got them babies too. I'm mentally unstable. How about an IRA? I got regular, I got raw. I got direct from factory outlet in every color. Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. I'm a threat to society as we know it. Bring nature to your bathroom with twigs and leaves. Very natural toilet paper made of twigs and leaves. It's not post-consumer content. It's not recycled paper. It's not even paper. It's just twigs and leaves. We collect from the forests of America. Back in the natural days, before there were real bathrooms, before there was toilet paper, they used twigs and leaves. Take up a sack today, now with 50% fewer thorns not for use with actual plumbing systems.
Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just found a pork shoulder underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one. Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the Agrichem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. Uh...